Good morning, Facebook. Um, I'm up doing my daily reading of Hebrew, and I just wanted to show you guys something really fast. Um, if we go to Genesis 1 and 1, where it says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. All right. So, if you come over here to this side, you'll see that the passage is in its original form, which is Hebrew, and we got God here. So, let's read here in Hebrew to see if God is mentioned here. Bear the sheet. Bara Elohim. So, Bereshit is Genesis in Hebrew, which means in the beginning. So, Bereshit Bara in the beginning. Elohim, which is God. Et Hashemayim. Wa'at Ha'aret. And in the beginning, God created Hashemayim, the heaven. Whenever you have this letter here, that's a hey in front of a word. And the, ro the word is Shemayim, Sha, that's a sheen here. Sha, this makes a ah sound. Shemayim, that means heaven. Wa'at, and whenever there's a wow in front of a word, that makes, that's and, wa'at, and ha'aret, that's earth. So in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. Let's go down here where it says God. Verse three, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Sorry, guys. All right, and we got Wyomer. That's an O vowel up there at the top. So Wyomer. This makes a eh sound. That vowel. Wyomer. Elohim. Again, it doesn't say God. Sorry. It doesn't say God. It says Elohim. Yehi or. So, Wyomer Elohim. And God said. Yehi or. He said, let there be light. Wa yihi or, and there was light. So this word here, or, as you can see again, that's the O vowel up there. Just as I said here after the lamet, the L makes the L sound in our English language. That dot at the top makes the O sound, that's the O vowel. So that's the olive. It's always silent unless it has a vowel under it this first letter here. Let me turn my pencil around so I can touch the screen. This first letter here, this olive, is silent unless it has a vowel, like this dot makes the I sound like in big. So because there's no vowel under that olive, it's silent. So you just go to the next the next um, consonant. So that's an O vowel and that's a resh that makes the R sound. So uh, or. Wyomer Elohim Yehi Or. And God said, Let there be light. Why Yehi Or. And there was light. Let's go down again. Let's go to verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night and the evening 
and the morning were the first day. I'm oh, sorry. Wayakra, Wayikra, sorry. Elohim. Again, we see that or just as we did up here, which means light. So, la or yom. So, and God called la or the light. Whenever there's a lamet in front of a word, it's the light, la or yom. So he called the light day. Wala koshek and the darkness, kwara lila. He called night lila. And the evening, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Let me make this big here. I was doing some writing. All right. So, and God called the light, darkness, night, Michael Shell, Quara, Lila. All right, so, night. Why ye he audit? And the evening, why ye he boker yom akad. So, and the evening and the morning were the first day. So again, we see. Elohim, we do not see the word God. It's Elohim. Again, you see that in seven throughout the text. It does not say God. Verse seven. Elohim. Let's click on that. God, Elohim. So, just wanted to share that information as I am learning the language and getting better reading and writing it. Um, yeah, you don't find Jesus anywhere. You don't find God anywhere. So, nobody was using those words, really. Um, not really. Nobody was using those words because they aren't the real way of saying the names. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today. You all be blessed. I'm praying for anybody in need of prayer.